What is going on guys, Korodak, I'm here. It's been about six months since I made a video, um, at least a face cam video. Uh, that video was a 10 month uh, year cap celebration sort of thing that I did uh, going over the past and I think maybe the future of my channel. I don't really remember what I talked about in that video. <clears throat> but a lot has changed. If you did watch any part of that video, you can probably tell I've slimmed down a lot. If I look this way, um, I don't really have as much as a double chin as I did back then. I look a lot slimmer. My beard is still a work in progress, but it is looking better, at least in my opinion. Um, so today, we're kind of just going to go over um, my fitness journey and some tips and things you can take from mine and apply it to yours, especially if your New Year's resolution is to get into working out or even just trying to become healthier, lose some weight, even if you're not working out. Um, a lot of it is in the diet. Um, so we're gonna go over what exactly I did um, and not this isn't like telling me what you should do But it's things you can take from what I did uh, which seems to be pretty successful so far probably not the most optimal I would say but um, You can take what I did try to apply it to you if you find something that you may like throughout uh, what I talk about um, You know might help you uh, at least find you know um, Something you want to try and you look into it more uh, and, you know, I don't really know what I was saying. This video is not really planned out. I just had this sudden inspiration um, to do this video. So we're just we're just going off the top of my head. For the most part, we're down with little notes. Um, but to start off, I weighed 210 pounds in June of 2023. And that's currently January 7th, 2024, as I'm recording this. And I weigh 180 pounds. Um, so it's a big difference in weight. Um, my main goal was not just to lose weight, it's also to put on muscle. So I was kind of doing both at the same time. Um, <clears throat> but I kind of like, I see, I've seen TikToks recently, it's where it's like, you can't really do both at the same time. It's like you have to pick one or the other. And then like, if you want to cut weight, you got to cut weight first and then build muscle. Um, if you want to, why is that playing? Sorry, Spotify is like playing on my phone or something. Um, if you want to build muscle, build muscle, but don't cut weight sort of thing. So you kind of have to pick and choose. If you want to cut weight, you need to focus so specifically on cutting weight. Um, because if you're looking to gain muscle, like big, big muscle mass at the same time, it's possible, but it won't be as good as just building muscle mass and not cutting weight. So you kind of have to pick which one you want to do. Um, I kind of did both. It was more so cutting weight, which people were like, you should stay at 200. Uh, that's like the ideal weight, but I wanted to go for more looking aesthetics. I wasn't with, really happy with how I looked. Um, here are some before photos. You can really see the, the fat in my stomach. Uh, that was like the main prevalent area and in my face as well. I'm not sure about that photo specifically, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Um, but at least in the, the other video, you could definitely see it in my face. You could see the chubbiness, the the asymmetricalness of my my chin i feel like these these two sides are like a bit asymmetrical so i could really tell in that video um but here's also a current photo of my physique uh it's some of the best but you can tell i've lost weight. you can start to see the the definition of some of my muscles um and like some of the that aesthetics that i'm going for um i still want to cut weight but i'll probably take a break on cutting weight for now and just you know, go super hard this winter and about May start cutting weight maybe to 160. I don't know if 20 pounds is too much. We'll, we'll, we'll start cutting and see where we go. But I kind of just want like that natural aesthetic looking body. Um, so we'll probably try and do that. That's the goal. Um, so let's actually get into the content of what I did. So about six months ago, um, I started tracking my splits um, and keep in mind that I actually, before we actually get into this, I have worked out in the past. I never took it super duper seriously, but I was aware of like push pull, like how to set up a split, how to work out in a general sense. Um, so I didn't come into this blind, which is probably my biggest factor. I, I kind of knew what I was doing a little bit, not a whole lot as much as I do now. Um, <coughs> But your biggest resource is going to be searching TikToks. There's a lot of influencers on TikTok. Uh, as long as you find one that has like a lot of views, like TNF, C Bomb. Um, I don't even know these people by their names. I just recognize them. Um, Sam Sulik, um, like he's probably the biggest name in, in like bodybuilding right now. I would say I'm not too into that trend. Twins, um, 
you know, just find these big influencers and don't take their splits exactly, but learn from them and develop your own split is what I would say to do. Uh, but what I did was push, pull, legs, push, pull. So I worked out five times a week. Um, I don't remember what days I, I had off, but I had two rest days a week. So I would do push, which was like chest, triceps, and shoulders. And pull was biceps and back and legs, which is legs. Um, I was doing abs on leg day as well. And then I would repeat that um, as well. I would do three sets to 15. I think I was failing around the 15th. If not, I, I was probably I'm trying to think. I, this was a while ago. Um, I don't know if I was going to failure at the start. I think I was just trying to get the form down set because if you have good form and then you're going to failure, you're going to build a lot more muscle. If you have bad form going to failure, because you're probably not targeting the muscle as much as you should be. Um, so for the first little bit, I would say until you think your form is good and you're starting to actually feel it in your muscles, like lat pull downs, for example, if you're not feeling it in your lats per se, you're probably maybe doing it wrong. Um, I do a different, different exercise to hit my lats because I, I still can't really feel it but I, I my form is correct um but you want to make sure if anything your form is correct before you start like eagle lifting in a sense and like eagle lifting is like it probably sounds bad but it's like kind of what you, you should be doing to some extent which we'll, we'll get into a little bit um for several months this is what i was doing um until i saw a tiktok where it's like two sets to failure once your form is down pat is exactly what you need to do in order to build muscle mass so I eventually i switched to that i was going i was doing one warm-up set of a, of a lighter variation not to failure just to like get the the muscles warmed up probably about 12 reps and then i would take which wasn't the best a minute break in between sets which you need i'd say about two or three minutes um is what i see it online everywhere you need two to three minutes of rest between sets <coughs> and then do two sets to failure so one more set and two sets to failure uh that two sets to failure you want to be failing in around eight to twelve uh, rep range um because there's a lot of studies out there i think it's called hypertrophy probably saying it wrong i don't really know a lot of the terminology i just kind of you know take what i take the the what's the, the results from these studies and what these TikToks and apply it to myself. Um, so you just want to be failing in the eight to 12 rep range. You want slow, uh, well, you want controlled reps. Um, if you're doing chest, for example, you want to go down, make sure you feel that stretch and then explosive push up. Um, on biceps, you don't want to just be spamming them. You want to make sure you're, you're stabilized, you're controlled, um, you're contracting the specific muscle, especially with back. You want to make sure, um, like if you're doing like T-bar rows, for example, you wanna make sure you're you're actually hitting you know, your back and not using your shoulders or your traps. Um, you wanna just make sure your, your reps are, you know, form's good. The, the form's good, sorry, I'm the camera on the desk. Um, slow and controlled, you're not just flaring or using momentum to, um, you know, move it. Like, I think one of the things is like, say you're doing a bicep curl, once you reach that peak, hold it for a few seconds, like two seconds and then let like go down and up you don't want to just go up and then down um it's a little things like that that make the difference um and i've experienced that like i've talked to the, the, the guys who've been working out longer in the gym um he was spotting me for like ascensions and he's like or leg curls sorry and he's like it's good that you're you're pausing for a second you're doing slow control rather than people who are just like whoa, 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 with the, the the machine um so you want to make sure slow and controlled to failure um, within a, a weight that you can do with good form. Um, and then once you do reach that failure point, um, depending on the exercise, I like to do partials as well. So say if I can't fully get the curl up all the way, um, I'll go back so you can see me. I'll like go here until I slowly can't really lift the weight up. You're still getting that the the pump in your your bicep sort of thing um <clears throat> so do partials as well um but this is this is something i didn't i didn't do at first this is something i'm, I'm doing now uh, eventually i think two i say two months ago now uh, my friend aiden he started going to the gym as well um and while we were there we were working out together we didn't really know like i wasn't the best trainer but his friend his name's connor shout out to connor uh he's been working out there for a very long time like several years i'm not really sure how long He's been there a few years at least. Um, but he kind of like started training me, Aiden, and his friend Ali. He's showing us proper forms, better splits on what to do exactly. Um, you know, what like the 
the partials that I was talking about showing us about partials is really just teaching us what to do exactly. So the main takeaway from what he showed us was the a better split that we can do, which is what I think a lot of people do, which is PPL X Arnold split. So push, pull, legs, and then for the Arnold is arms and shoulders one day, and then the other day is um, chest and back. And then, whoa, voice crack. Oh, my headset died. That's crazy. But this is, I'm gonna put my current split on screen as well, just so you can get a sense of what exactly I'm doing. Um, if you use TikTok at all, I am, or I was consistently uploading what I do at the gym on TikTok. Uh, it's more so kind of just whenever I, I feel like I'm now because my routine is so the exact same just every single day. It's like, if it's like too repetitive to upload, I feel like. Um, but this is what I do in the gym currently. Five days a week, I work, or I work out. I work on every single weekday, and then I have the um, weekend off. Unless I'm busy during the week, like a weeknight, I will kind of like substitute it, push it down a little bit, um, and do that. So I will do all these exercises to. So I'll do all these exercises. Um, I'll I'll switch it up. Say if it's like chest and back one. One day, but next week I'll do back and chest, so it's a different focused muscle um, that day. I kind of like rotate it and what's called cycle through, so every mu muscle is like the focus muscle eventually at some point. Just so it's like, like if I'm doing back and biceps, for example, like I'll do biceps and then my biceps will be dead for back, so it's not as good of a workout. So eventually you want to switch it up. Um, I'm really bad at explaining things, so hopefully some of this makes sense, but this is the split that I do and I have been doing and I've been seeing progress with it. Um, so one set, one on, two sets to failure. Um, and then if you want to throw some cardio in there, especially if you're trying to lose weight, throw some cardio in there. Um, I used to do incline 12 speed three on the treadmill for half an hour and I would burn about 300 calories. Uh, I'd say probably burn about 200 calories working out. So if you're trying to be in a big deficit, uh, that's 500 calories right there. You're pretty set, um, which kind of leads uh, us into the next topic of how to diet correctly and eat enough protein and calories. Um, so what you see everywhere is essentially for every pound. So like whatever your target weight is, say 180 like mine was, you want to eat one gram protein per pound. So my target weight was 180 pounds. So I was, or am eating 180 grams of protein every single day. And that sounds like it's really hard to do. Um, and at first it was, I could not figure out how to eat enough every single day. Um, and I think one of the leading factors was you see everywhere online, people saying you can only like absorb a certain amount of protein in one, in one sitting. Um, but I think, I don't know the study, I'm not really science based, but I saw TikTok, I think by TNF, it was one of the bigger influencers, um, saying how it's not exactly true and like muscle growth was studied uh, consuming like 50 or 80 grams of protein in one sitting versus 30 and the results were about the same. So it's not exactly true that you have to consume uh, a certain amount per meal. Uh, it's however much you're willing, like you're able to die to eat without feeling sick afterwards. Just like <laughs> know your limit with, with food, don't feel too full. You don't wanna get sick sort of thing. Um, and once I learned that, that really helped me get past the struggle of eating enough protein every day. Because if I'm only eating 30 grams of protein per serving, that's like what, five meals a day, five, six meals a day. Nobody wants to do that. That's like way too much food. Um, so my current diet is 180 grams of protein and about 2000 calories. And then we work out, it's about 1800 calories. Um, so what I do, at least probably a lot of people do it as well, is for every gram of protein is 10 calories. So uh, my lunch is about 500 calories, 50 grams of protein. My snack at around three o'clock is 50 grams of protein, about 500 calories as well. Um, and dinner, dinner's kind of just whatever my parents make, I still live at home. I pay for groceries, of course, but they just make whatever they're feeling, I'll have it. Um, and then I'll let make up for with a protein shake if I don't have enough. And then usually after the gym, I will have a uh, protein shake, which is like 42 grams of protein and 230 calories. Um, but I'm gonna go over exactly what my diet is. So maybe you can pick and choose, you know, certain things from it to take and apply to yours if you like it. Um, so I don't eat anything in the morning. I wait till lunch, It's kind of like an intermittent fast. I'll eat anything past 12 p.m. Usually I won't have anything in the morning except the coffee. Um, so I will have 
a sandwich for the most part every single day uh, consisting of the exact same thing which you know i don't mind the repetition if you do you always switch it up with something else or just add this as like one day or two days or whatever to your your dieting um but i will have uh two slices of carbonara bread the, the the bread of the sandwich and then i will have usually three to five pieces of sandwich meat whatever equals uh 12 ish grams of protein uh it's about 60 calories for um five slices in case of what i'm eating right now it's like 12 grams of protein for 60 calories pretty good um but it's processed meat is the best no idea um uh then i will have uh, some cheese uh, that i get from costco it's i think 110 calories for eight grams of protein so it kind of starts to balance out there and then i will have three slices of turkey bacon which is 15 grams of protein for i think 90 calories um which if you do the math it's around 50 i don't know if it's exactly 50 or above or below but it's around 50 grams of protein and then i'll have low fat butter on each slice of bread um for probably like <coughs> 10 calories and then i'll put a little bit of sriracha on it as well about 10 calories as well uh and then i'll eat that uh, i'll put all the ingredients on the screen so you can see exactly what i'm talking about uh you can search up the macros for yourself i don't i don't really track my macros to the dot i used to with my fitness pal um but then once i got into this routine i knew that i was under my calorie goal i was getting enough calories um, and also my sodium and all that were fine after tracking with my fitness pal um so i'll eat that for lunch uh i don't really know it depends on how i'm feeling it down all depends what like i'll have some water maybe i'll have a protein shake as well with it um but then around three o'clock i will have a protein bar which is 20 usually 20 grams of protein and then depending on the protein bar it's around 180 to 210 calories which is within that you know uh one to ten ratio that you you should be aiming for um and then we'll have a fair life chocolate milk which i think is 150 calories or 30 grams of protein so that's amazing right there um so at that point you've already had 50 um 50 grams or 100 grams of protein for about 100 or 800 calories that day so you're in a good you know surplus of protein to calorie ratio and then dinner i just have whatever my parents make um usually there's like a decent amount of protein like at least 20 grams you know the calorie count may be high but we are english so our food is not seasoned um it's just like the base calorie count that's on the box or whatever what we're eating so it's pretty easy to track for me at least um and then i'll, I'll work out usually i'll work out the, then eat dinner but i'll work out and i'll get a fair life core power protein drink from the convenience store next to me um 42 grams of protein i think like 240 calories so that's even then that's a big surplus of, uh, of protein compared to calories and then if i'm not at 180 i will have a protein shake when i get home which is 27 grams of protein for 110 calories so like we're sorry just my mind. we're really just chilling there at that point um you know it's it's um i don't even know like 1800 calories 2000 calories it really depends uh, i'd have to do the math i don't remember how much but i know it's within uh me like within my deficit i'm still losing weight even though i kind of want to balance off so i've switched to a different protein bar that's a little bit higher in calorie just to get that little a little bit extra because every calorie counts every protein counts my throat is a little bit scratchy because i'm trying to go this video for so long because <laughs> it's just off the top of my head um but really, as long as you're looking at what you're eating, you know, it's, if you look at the daily value, as long as it's low in fat, low in sodium, low in like literally everything, uh, a decent amount of protein to calorie ratio, you're probably fine. Um, you know, it's hard to, 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 you know, to, not really hard. It's expensive to buy protein. Protein is expensive. I'm lucky enough that I can spend this money on protein. Uh, and not everyone has that luxury, obviously, but pick and choose what you can get um obviously the cheapest things buy protein powder double scoop if you need to that's 50 grams right there or like 60 even <coughs> um i'm trying to think what else um that's really just what i eat um uh, if i go out to eat i'll obviously supplement something else like if i'm going out to eat i'll cut out 
as big of a lunch or I'll cut out my midday stack if I know I'm going out later on uh, just to make up for the calories. So you really want to pick and choose, you know, your meals. Uh, you may have not enough protein one day, but as long as you're in that calorie deficit, uh, you're chilling. If you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to gain muscle, kind of say screw the calories and ensure you're eating enough protein. Um, so that's really the only difference. Uh, so if you want to lose weight, make sure you really keep track of those calories. If you want to really want to gain muscle make sure you keep track of this protein make sure you're getting enough uh the calorie count can probably waver a little bit each day um but as long as it's not an everyday thing where you're in a calorie surplus you're most likely fine uh but if you're wanting to lose weight make sure you're in a calorie deficit you'll probably be fine um I'm trying to think what else there there was um yeah obviously this isn't for everyone uh this is just what i do in my daily life um, you can pick and choose if you want anything from it that you found interesting uh, try to apply it to your own uh, I have a feeling there's probably gonna be a lot of like new people going to the gym or like at least looking into the gym um, even if you don't like go to the gym right off the bat it's like 70% diet I'm pretty sure like something like that to actually lose weight as long as you're in a calorie deficit you're gonna lose weight and if you lift weights on top of that you're gonna lose more weight because you're gonna be burning more calories um, and it isn't really a matter of how much you're eating. You could eat a lot of low calorie stuff and still lose weight. But if you say you have a Big Mac from McDonald's, you know, it's not a lot of food in the grand scheme of things, but it's so high in calories. It's like you're kind of like stuck for what else you can eat during the day or for the rest of the day. So you want really want to just track your calories and the, the nutrients that go with it. Um, if you eat a lot of salt, you're going to feel bloated. You're gonna look a little little bloated um so you may feel bigger than you actually are which could like lead into like, a downward spiral or something like that but so you just really want to be aware of what the calorie content every is and everything <coughs> get a gist of like what is and isn't good um and you know you you got this it's it's certainly possible it, it seems daunting at first but once you get into it um i know you could do it um I think that's it mainly for this video. Um, if you want to follow my content or my fitness journey, follow me on TikTok. I'm going to be working out with a new workout partner, partner soon. Shout out to Maddie. She's going to start coming to the gym with me. I'm not sure how much, but we're going to film some TikToks together, um, some, some fitness stuff together. So that'll be a lot of fun. Get back into the series of uploading stuff. Shout out to her. We're going to be doing that. Um, if you have any questions or anything, leave it in the, the comments. You can always join my Discord as well, which I'll... I'll try to remember the link in the, the description. Um, or you can comment on my TikToks or my Instagram, literally anywhere. I'll try to respond as best as possible. Um, and if you're unsure about the form, or like literally anything in the gym, TikTok is going to be your best friend. Um, search your question, like lat pull down form. There's going to be a million TikToks on how to do it. Um, TikTok will be your best friend in the, in the gym, I would say. Um, Oh, and what I forgot to say is the best spot to get protein is Costco. If you don't have a Costco membership, see if your friends have one. Um, that's where I get majority of my my protein stuff from, minus the the protein powder, which I you can probably just get from any supplement store. Um, and the core power one is harder to find in stores. I, I just go to my, my local convenience store because it's the same price as buying a case from somewhere. Um, but aside from that, just you know, make sure your form's good slow and controlled you're eating good you're in a calorie deficit you're getting enough protein in and that's about it really i think um that's all the advice uh i would give at least someone that's starting out obviously as you get more and more <coughs> in depth with this you're going to be you know going past what i'm doing this is just like service level stuff on advice that i would give you um but yeah I hope this helps even a little bit you know you're just here to see what's up maybe you already knew all this maybe you didn't i think the the dieting stuff or the, the foods that i eat really is going to help some people so i hope that helps a little bit and um yeah i'll see you guys whenever i make decide to make next, another whoa i'll see you guys whenever i decide to make another video uh follow my tiktok if you have any questions you want to see some fitness content and yeah take care